I'm a television producer, most, a journalism, a news producer, also a nonprofit executive, and these two sometimes at the same time, bouncing back and forth between the two, um, just to give you an overview about myself. Our, our company is called Internews Interactive. Our goal is to connect Americans with our leaders, each other in the world. This is just a bunch of still images from many projects we've done over, the, over many years. Um, so this is, a engage, this is a process. I just want to talk this through real quickly. I'll play a couple little videos. Number one, there's always someone who wants to speak in public and to be heard. So we call them self-selected participants. We have a process where people post a video of themselves uh, speaking about something they care very deeply about. So you'll see this young man with the red circle around him. Here he is. And um, he and other people have posted videos on this website of themselves. You can vote them up and down. Uh, you can uh, recommend them on Facebook or tweet about them. And what they're voting for is people that can um, articulate what they believe in, but maybe more clearly than they themselves could. You can tell I, I'm not that good at articulating. I wish I, there was one of those people up here speaking for me now. Um, OK, well, our young man has done very well. We put him through a little training process, maybe. He goes on television, and he makes public appearances. And he's speaking for a large number of people who have voted for him. He's empowered. Other people see him and they go, oh, that guy's on TV. I want to do this, too. So then they do it, and it becomes a, a cycle of participation. So we did exactly this. Uh, we worked with unitedrepublic.org, which is a nonprofit has about 250,000 followers, and they're all about getting money out of politics. And our other partner was Link TV, a national uh, satellite channel that I often work with. We said, OK, we'll take you as a reporter, a citizen reporter, to both the Republican and Democratic conventions of 2012. If you tell us why you care about getting money out of politics, what are you going to do once you get there? So we had dozens of people. You can see them here. It's what they did. They told us what they wanted. We got a lot of Facebook likes and Twitter followers. The audition process, I'm going to, we'll play this. You'll Hi, everyone, United Republic and Link TV. I would love to be your convention reporter. Out of control super PACs. What is your candidate or candidates going to do about eliminating money from politics? I, like most of you, imagine a more inclusive democracy. Raising and spending outrageous sums. And how can we trust your candidate to do that when they've already accepted millions of dollars from corporations and from super PACs? No matter how much money someone has. Corporations are not people. I'll believe they are when they execute one in Texas. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. And here's our two winners, Solomon Kleinsmith and Jessica Ives. They're both Midwesterners, interestingly. We took them to the conventions. We did 10 episodes, five from each convention for Link TV. And um, this, this next video, uh, early on in the series, we kind of show little portraits of these two. So here they are. Jessica Eyes, and I'm auditioning to be your citizen journalist for the upcoming Republican and Democrat conventions. My name is Solomon Kleinsmith from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm not a fan of either Barack Obama and the Democrats or Romney and the Republicans and how much they're bought and paid for by special interest money is a big part of why. But I do want to play one more video. And... Um, as you see, it says, how can we strengthen American democracy? This was an attempt to pull all this together. It's short, though, luckily. And um, it's kind of cheesy. I apologize in advance. So how can we strengthen American democracy? Let's stop arguing, find what we agree on, and try working together. Us? Work together? Even if regular people could work together, how can we get the media and our leaders to pay attention? Well, polls show that on many issues, like immigration reform, term limits, and money in politics, Americans are closer to agreement than our leaders are. But extreme opinions dominate, from media rants to congressional gridlock. I agree. If we could help people work together and make sure our leaders and the media pay attention, we could really strengthen democracy. 
I agree. Give the American people a safe and interesting way to talk and listen. Find citizen representatives who can articulate our agreements. Put our representatives on mass media platforms. We've received an award to hold Google Plus Hangouts connecting people in policy discussions. I am someone who does not have health care. A trained facilitator guides the conversations so people feel safe to talk and to make decisions about difficult issues. We've also built an online tool that lets people audition to be citizen representatives. The environment, education, immigration, whatever It's embedded on popular websites so everyone can vote for their favorites. We've put citizens on television, too. What is your vision for economic growth? But now we need to go bigger. To help us break through the glass ceiling that cuts citizens out of policy discussions. Imagine. 76% of Americans agree there's too much money in politics. So Americans meet in hangouts and talk about it. Sometimes we argue, but a facilitator helps us stay focused, find what we agree on, and create a policy statement like anonymous money out of politics. Next, we hold online video tryouts to find citizen reps who can really talk about getting anonymous money out of politics. On campaign finance. Then, the people choose someone. Jessica. Why, thank you. One of the wide Jessica appears on TV talk shows. Welcome back to Meet the Press. And at public events. Suddenly, amid the clamor and fluff, there's a new voice. It's the people's voice. As more Americans take part, we reach new agreements on new issues. And choose new representatives to take Jessica's place in the public square. You are awesome, Jessica. Thanks, Evelyn. But now I have to get back to my job. The more Americans find agreements and create policy statements, the more the media has to let us speak, and the more the politicians have to listen. Sounds like a plan. To strengthen American democracy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We can talk more later. I appreciate it. Thank you.